Hi, everybody. We're back, and it's time for some more snacks from Greece, which we did the first one of these videos a couple weeks ago. If you like these videos, please click like below. We love it when you do that. And then if you haven't done so already, please click subscribe and hit that little bell down there so you get notified when we make more of these videos. All right, let's get right to it. Uh, wait, how's everybody doing? Let us know what's going on. We love to hear your, your stories, uh, not only about snacks, but just what's happening in the world near where you live, wherever that may be. All right, kiddo, what do you want to start with? That. This? Yeah. Okay, so, again, we had something made by this company. I don't know if it's Tadis or Tadis. Again, oh, it's a fine bakery. These are garlic bread chips. Oh, that's going to be good in tomato soup, I can tell. Yeah, these are oven baked with sunflower oil, no flavor enhancer, no... No flavor enhancer. How did you get the garlic flavor in there if you, there's no flavor enhancer? No is preservatives. Is flavor enhancer like bad for you? I, don't, uh, I guess it depends on what they're talking about. Um, so these are like little mini bagel chips that are garlic flavored and the package is exactly the same on the back, which is really unusual. Wow. All right, so. Maybe it's. It doesn't smell that garlicky, does it? Just a little. Just a tiny bit, right? All right, so these little mini bagel chippy kind of things. Good, but they're fine but there's not enough garlic flavor I mean we have stuff like this here too hmm okay so the second one I got had a lot more garlic flavor and was a lot better but um, they're also a little softer not quite as crispy and crunchy as I was expecting them to be, which is a little disappointing because I love that crunch. I love a good crunch. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know what I think of that. I think I've had better garlic bagel chips. Does it seem like there's somebody hiding around the corner? Yeah. I don't know what's happening right now. I wonder who that is. <laughs> who is that? <laughs> oh. There was an interloper around the corner. We had to deal with that situation. Okay, so... Uh, Can I have some more? What? No, you cannot have some more. We're going to move on to the next one. You've already had enough of those. <coughs> and that was a horrible sound. So, let's... Oh, did we rate that already? Mommy. Did we rate those already? Did we... Um, no. We did not? I don't think so. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to give those... I think for a <coughs> garlic bagel chip, I think they were subpar. So, unfortunately, I'm giving those a four. <coughs> A four. Mm, That's what they got in a four. Seven and a half. I, I agree that you're right that they would be good in tomato soup. Like, I make a pretty mm -hmm. good grilled cheese sandwich, um, right? Don't you think? And I think better than grilled Culver's, cheese. Better than um, what else? So better than that place you went for Disney. Mm. Oh, that, that's high praise. He likes my grilled cheese better than a grilled cheese sandwich he got at Disneyland recently. So, okay, so... Um, so yeah, but in tomato soup with grilled cheese, I think those bagel chips would be fine, but they weren't the best I've ever had. So what, what did you give them? Oh, seven and a half. Okay. All right, what do you want to do next? Dink or dink? Or dink. We'll save that one for or last. Dink. This or this? Which or one? dink. Left or right? Or dink, dink. Just pick a dink. This one, okay. So this is a, this is made, again, made by Tadis or Tadis, whatever it is. Everything is sticky. I blame the baklava, it's so gross. This is called <laughs> Serenata. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. This is called Serenata Finger. Oh, they gave me the finger. One? Yeah. That's me. Um, milk chocolate wafer with cocoa cream. Wait, did they actually want to see? No, I'm oh. just saying I held it up like this, like they gave me the finger. <laughs> Get it? Sorry, that was rude. Okay, so it's a little, uh, you know, chocolate covered wafer bar. <gasps> Yum, I can I have some? Yes, you may have some. I cannot believe you shoved that whole thing in your mouth <laughs> at once. It's a little piggy. Mm. So this is pretty delightful. Um, <laughs> you don't like the word delightful? No. Um, is it too old fashioned for you? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I thought the serenata was completely delightful. Um, it, uh, the chocolate on that was really good, didn't you think? Mm -hmm. This is, I think that's the only chocolate thing in this whole box. That's pretty unusual for there to be only one chocolate thing, but it was really good. The wafers were very light and crispy. Um, 
I, I thought that was delicious. I'm going to give that a nine. That was great. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, same. Same thing. High five for nine. Did you get hurt on my ring again? No. Does that bother you? No. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's go with this. Okay, I am, oh my gosh, everything is sticky. It's so gross. It's nice. um, this is made by a company called Feedon. Great Feed on must. down the road about a half a mile or so. That's the wrong song. Okay, yeah, I don't understand the grammar of this at all. Grape must soft cookie. Is, is, must. is must like musty or musky or musty I'm out. not sure where the word must comes into play here. Naturally and artificially flavored. Wah, wah. It's a donut. It looks like a donut, but it's a cookie according to this. And I, I guess we'll... I don't want to have that. It doesn't... You don't even want to have it? No. Well, you're having it. Because that's how this works. It smell. smells like ginger. Nope. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's like ginger. Okay. I don't taste anything great. I think congratulations are in order here. Because this may be the worst cookie I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> that is terrible. Don't you think? It'll, Unless it's you not a, like soft in a, ooh, you just baked nice warm cookies kind of way. It's soft in a, like, did you forget to like, like cook it or like bake ground. it? Tastes like what? The ground. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like the ground, apparently, according to Enzo. So like it tastes like dirt, basically. Yeah, I mean, it tasted a little bit like ginger to me. I didn't taste any grape at all, did you? No, it tastes like gravel. <laughs> but slightly less crunchy? Well, what, what's happening over here? thing in my hair. That's probably just a spider. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, yeah, it, it's it's not good. It's just plain old bad. So grape grape must not ever get in my mouth again. That's what I'm going to say about this one. Uh, I'm going to give uh -huh. that a... I'm actually going to give that a zero. That's how bad it was. Yep, zero, zero, zero. Zero, high five for zero. It's like one. Okay. One, so one. If, if it was a zero, I would have thrown up. So. so are you giving it a one? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Zero for me, one from you. Everything all right over there? Yep. You want to stop playing with your cord so that you can stop pulling your microphone off your shirt for the ninth time today? <laughs> All right. So uh, this is our last big one. Another one from Toddy's, our favorites. Toddy's, Toddy's, Toddy's snacks, corn puffs. Ew. <laughs> Get a load of this flavor. Peanut and hazelnut. Who, corn in their right mind, would think to put those two flavors together? Hold on. <laughs> I'm reading the back of this. Except there's nothing. Oh, by the way, allergen information. The um, peanut and hazelnut corn puffs contains peanuts and hazelnuts. Who would have thought? Oh, peanut butter. It sounds like peanut butter. Yeah, because there's peanuts and hazelnuts oh, in it. Oh, Here, have a couple of peanut and hazelnut balls. Oh, thanks, man. You just ruined it. I tried to play basketball. Well, you just ruined don't, throw, it. don't throw it back in here because now it's been on the floor. You just ruined a corn puff. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I actually like these. Mm, punch in the now, face. I will say that mm. I don't taste any hazelnut whatsoever. I only taste peanut. Mm. Like peanut. It tastes like basically a corn puff covered in peanut butter. Yeah, no. That's not good. Mmm. Yeah, I don't taste any hazelnut at all. Oh. So, false advertising. Um, good. props good. on the most obvious allergen information on a package anytime in history. Um, but they're just okay. Um, I like peanut butter, I like corn puffs, but there's nothing really that exciting about them. I would give them a six and a half, I think. I'll give them a two. A two from the kid who hates peanuts. All right. So the last thing we have is our, my 13 year old is being 13 off camera. Um, okay. This is a frugally... Jelly candy made by Cocos. Yum. This is a pomegranate flavor. Oh, I love pomegranates. Do you like pomegranate in general? Mm -hmm. It's the little ruby looking things. You've had those, haven't you? I'm sure you must have had pomegranate at some point. But it's kind of a pink sparkly coated with granulated sugar kind of a thing. Kind of tastes like medicine. Mmm. Mmm. At the end, it tastes like medicine. This is really yummy. Wow, I love that. It reminds me of, you know, those Medicine. jelly fruit slices that have sugar all over the outside of them? 
it, it's the same kind of consistency, but this is actually even softer than that. Um, I think that for me, the sweetness level is just right. It, like it's sweet, but doesn't cross over the lines of being too sweet. Your microphone is probably picking up that sound. What, have you just gone into a candy coma? What's happening right now? Uh, um, so what did you think of that? T it tasted like um, <laughs> medicine. I didn't think it tasted like medicine. I thought it was really good. I'm gonna give that an eight. I'm gonna give it a two. Okay, so an eight for me, Hundred. a two from, I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, okay. So that brings us to the time when we have to reveal to you, our viewers, what was our favorite of this episode. What are you gonna pick as your favorite? Is it the must grape cookie? I'm pick the... I'm gonna pick this. To me, this was easily the best. Yeah, the serenata finger. I don't know, what, what? Was this? Really? Yep. Really? The garlic bagel chips that don't have enough garlic were your favorite. Okay, so we have different favorites this time. For me, it's the Serenata uh, milk chocolate wafer with cocoa cream. This was really yummy. For the boy here, it is the uh, garlic bread chips. They don't even call them bagel chips, but they're like little tiny mini bagels. Um, and uh, so I guess we're going to have some uh, grilled cheese and tomato soup with these pretty soon. Look at this. There's Good. one. That's a circle. All right. Thanks as always for watching. Cut that out, please. I will. I'll cut that out because that was <laughs> that's a little weird. All right. All right. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.